Well, greetings. This is Dr. Bill Bailey, and this is the Handheld Hack. The Handheld Hack is all the information about handheld devices, like the one that I'm recording this show on. I'm using my phone to record the show, and it is a uh, Samsung Note 5. I know, a little out of date, but that's okay. <laughs> it works fine for me. So I encourage you to check out the Handheld Hack. It's been a long time since we've done a handheld hack, and I apologize for that. I'm trying to get caught up on all my shows, but uh, I, part of it is, is that I've tried to clarify to myself what this show is really going to be about. And I think I've finally settled on the fact that rather than just specializing in unique handheld devices or handheld hacking uh, I'm going to really focus more on just handheld devices in general. That would be smartphones, tablets, things of that nature. So let's talk about an article that I posted today on the handheld hack, and that is Amazon is refreshing its tablet lineup. Now, Amazon's tablets are not, well, they're not speed demons. <laughs> they're not the high-end tablets. But I know some people, including my sister-in-law, that has an Amazon tablet. She loves it. It works perfectly for what she wants it to do. And so it fills a niche that I think is a very important one, which is just folks using a tablet. Having the ability to uh, read your Kindle books. Having the ability to talk to the Amazon Echo voice, which if I say it, She'll talk to me over here because I have one uh, sitting right here next to me. So I won't do that. But at any rate, uh, basically being able to use the features of Amazon. Of course, obviously ordering Amazon products. Something we do probably more than we should. But at any rate, what is involved in this refresh? Amazon has cut the price of its Fire HD 8 tablet by $10.00 with an upgraded model that will be available next month for $80. The company also announced a new version of the Fire 7 tablet, which will keep its $50 price tag, uh, and it's introduced two versions of its tablet for children, a $100 update to the Fire 7 Kids Edition, and a brand new $130 Fire HD 8 Kids Edition. Now the Kids Editions have kind of a rubberized protection edge, uh, and, and they're thicker, uh, so they're really designed to hold up under heavy usage and probably usage from kids that are a little rough on a regular tablet. Now, uh, these tablets, as I said, they're not the fastest tablets, they're not the most, uh, the highest level of, of uh, memory and, and CPU and all that, but they're just good, solid tablets. So, I encourage you to check out the article here on the handheld hack and check out uh, more information about these particular tablets. All right, next item is, is it time to buy a new smartphone? Most people look at smartphones around Christmas, but here we are going into summer. The thing is, this may be the best time to buy a smartphone. The selection has never been better for smartphones. You've got the iPhone 7 and iPhone 7 Plus, which are out there. They're two of the best smartphones that you could buy right now that are Apple World smartphones, obviously. Also, the Google Pixel, which we have an article uh, on the handheld hack about the Google Pixel and Pixel XL. Uh, I kind of skipped it because I posted it so long ago that uh, it's kind of old news. But if you want information on the Pixel... Uh, go ahead and check out that article as well. There are a lot of carrier promotions that are, uh, that are going on right now. All the major U.S. carriers have recently launched promos promotions which are likely to expire pretty quickly here. So you, now may be the time to take advantage of them as long as you don't wait too long. So I know I'm excited about the Galaxy uh, uh, 8, the uh, Note 8, or not Note 8, but the, the Galaxy 8, which, uh, the larger version, I tend to like the large screens. So, I don't know if I'll switch myself or not, but it's a possibility, so stay tuned. 
if I upgrade from the Note 5 up to a Galaxy S8, uh, then you'll, you'll hear about it. <laughs> All right, also, another article here. Researchers have come out with a very thin hologram surface which they want to incorporate into a smartphone or tablet which would allow you to actually uh, have a holographic 3D image above your tablet or smartphone. That would be really cool. I don't know if you ever saw Young Justice, the cartoon Young Justice, but Robin had a, a 3D holographic display on his wrist. Kind of like that. That would be very cool. I'd ask you to check out this article. It's, it's a good, detailed article. It also has a YouTube uh, video that I've got on the Handheld Hack, which, by the way, of course, is handheldhack.com, as it says there on the screen. Check it out because it's, it's not... The video itself is just kind of a, a demo of what we're talking about. It doesn't go into a lot of detail, but the article talks about how this... Technology is being developed and may eventually come uh, into fruition to where we'll have 3D displays on our handheld devices. And that sounds pretty exciting. I'm kind of jazzed about that. So definitely be staying tuned for that. And as always, when you're looking for information about technology, check out our channel on YouTube, which is youtube.com slash Dr. Bill Bailey. Check that out. All of our shows are going to be there, all of our tech shows. And of course, if you want handheld information, come to the handheldhack.com.